You two, what's up? What's up, man? It's a good day. Sun's out, 60 degrees. We're gonna talk crazy shit today, man. One of the biggest risks of my life. One of the biggest unknowns. Hands off. I got no clue what I'm doing. As always, I'm taking you on the journey. We're gonna take a, a, a trip in Sacramento and a trip down Mike's brain today, but first we gotta get legs. So I haven't weighed myself today, but diet went pretty good considering the Super Bowl was this weekend. I didn't do all that. I had chicken thigh. Um, so I'm gonna squat, deadlift, light legs, and then me and Seabass are gonna take you on an adventure, man. Give this thing a thumbs up. Comment below the biggest risk you've ever taken in your life, and let's see if you're even in the ballpark of mine. The bigger chat is uh, I guess entrepreneurship and that's really what I want to chat with you all guys about it seems really trendy and it seems really cool to be an entrepreneur and invest and build your own path and create your own products and create your own content and don't get me wrong I think it's cool but I think it's a little bit glorified on the internet right like you're not just gonna wake up grind murder kill create a YouTube video and become a millionaire and have playboy models and Lamborghinis in your driveway. So for me, it's uh, something I fell into because like my ADHD didn't allow me to go to college. <laughs> I tried and I was a good student. You know, I had a 3.7. I think I was smart and I could study, but it just drove me wild. I want to rip my skin off in class. Um, so I dropped out. And even before that, you know, I've maybe told the story a couple times, but maybe not super in depth. You know, my first like job, I was in seventh grade and I guess you call it problem solving. So I was on the committee for the dances. You know, we do like a Halloween dance or whatever for the junior highs in the area. And I was on the committee to, to make the, the Halloween one. It was me and my boy Chris, one of my best friends. And maybe other people, but. And we were in there, and you gotta hire the DJ and get the decorations and get the snacks and bop beep boop bop, send out the invitations. But the DJ costs like 1500 bucks or something, right? For a four hour kids dance. And we hired them and we looked up the reviews or whatever. And we got them there. And then afterwards, I think we did a debrief on the dance and, and me and my buddy and all the kids thought the DJ sucked. And we're like, we pay this cat 1500 bucks? And I went to my teacher, I mean, I'm Chris. I said, all right, what if we DJ'd the next one and you just pay us 500 bucks? But we're gonna play the slappers and we're gonna, the kids are gonna have a good time. And from that day on, for the next six years, I began DJing uh, weddings, dances, junior high, high school, anything I could in the area. A couple house parties that people would pay us for, um, for Christmas and Birthdays, me and my friends started asking for lights and fog machines and DJ equipment and speakers instead of gifts. And I basically, I guess, became an entrepreneur then. But this, for the first time in my life, I spent a, a large chunk of money and a little bit of energy. But um, I'm opening a place that I have no knowledge of. I'm opening a place that I'm going to have um, little to do with the day to day. And that's fucking scary. Because every failure I've made or every success I've made has always been because my decisions and what I do. And, and then I can look back and adjust or I could keep going or I could quit or I could flip the script or I could pivot. This one, the day to day is off me and I'm putting a chunk of a change into a spot um, that is an adventure. And so the risk goes even higher. Any entrepreneurship, what they don't talk to you about online is what? 90 plus percent of businesses fail in the first two years. If you are one of the whatever, five or 10% to make it, how many of those people are making the money that you think you're gonna make? And that's all entrepreneurs and all businesses. It's not, it's not as cool as you think. You're stressed all the time. You gotta do jobs you don't wanna do all the time. Me and Seabass are picking up blood all fucking weekend at this meet. You know, there's shit that people don't talk about. And I don't film it, because I don't want pity. I'm not gonna post y'all like gym issues and I'm plunging a fucking toilet and picking up blood and yelling at kids all day for breaking shit. Like that ain't fun and I don't wanna exploit our members. That's just normal day stuff and I don't wanna pat on the back for that either. That's what I signed up for. This business we're opening um, is a new genre, a new world. We're gonna meet We're gonna meet the guy behind the, the ideas 
and hopefully I can feed them some ideas and help when I can. A little bit more money and a little bit more riskier. Livio saw. Party, weekend party, daytime party, food, a little bit of drinks, which isn't my style, but I do love food and I do love community. Um, we're right next to the King Stadium, um, and we'll hopefully be opening up Q2 of 2023. Um, my dude Nick's taking the reins. He's the leader in all this. And we'll, we'll chat, and you guys will learn to know him in the vlogs a little bit. Um, we just wanted to give you a teaser. So um, I guess a restaurant tour, which I never thought. I never wanted. I never <laughs> thought. Um but this is like a big project. So we'll show you the square foot. We want to kind of show you before and after. We don't want to leak too much right now, um, but it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. A little bit more construction to do, a little bit more planning to do. And I'm just trying to give tips where I can. Cause again, I've never run a restaurant. I'm just an idea guy and a problem solver, but uh, branding, marketing content. So I'm helping where I can, but I think it'd be cool. So if you're in SAC, man, maybe we'll figure something out where you drop my name and you know, get the hookup. I don't know yet, but we're going to try to do shit like that. Help the, you all, cause without y'all, I couldn't do this. And now I guess I own a pancake. <laughs> it's upper class though. I don't, I'm joking, but it's gonna be like a nice spot. Okay, so it's gonna be a nice spot. You know um, so here we go. just an employee at Slingshot, it felt very entrepreneurial. Although my money wasn't on the line, my time and energy was. I was the first employee ever there. And the company had only been around a year when I started. Um, so this is kind of the only world I know. But the restaurant tour world, the bar world, the, the night scene world, I know nothing. And again, my money's just kind of up for grabsies. Um, I'm gonna help as much as I can in the areas and departments that I know, right? Marketing, maybe apparel, merch, et cetera, et cetera. I know nothing about food. Uh, I know how to cook my own dinner. I know nothing about promoting nightclub shit, but um, hopefully it's just a cool adventure and I'll be able to tag you guys in. You know, We're gonna eat post-workout meals there as a team, maybe have team meetings there. I, I don't plan on being at the parties, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some clips just to show you guys. And again, if you're in SAC, um, we're, we're, we're a couple months out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find ways to, to support you all through this. So if you're in SAC, maybe you can get a little discount. No promises, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see what I can do. Um, appreciate you guys. Morning after, coming uh, Q2, 2023, Sacramento, California. 3SB.co, as always, clothes available. This tee is literally my favorite from the drop, and it's up right now. I think we have most sizes left, but quantity is low. So check that out. If you're in Sacramento, man, Third Street Barbell, you know where to find me, you know where to find us and uh, I'm gonna hit the road. So, um, we over me, man, be a part of something bigger yourself. Always driven by culture and community, so I'm, like, I'm out.